Virgo, hi. Welcome to the 2024 readings. So the way this is going to go, we're going to look into each month and the spread I came up with was, well, it's, it's going to look something like the energy you're in for the whole month, um, what you're dealing with, how you're dealing with it, and then we'll look into the advice. Um, which the advice can be just a continuation of the other energies, and then uh, it'll kind of come off of that. Um, there's going to be an angle from above uh, where you can see it either here or, or here. I haven't decided yet, okay? So you'll see it somewhere on the screen where you can see what's going on here, and then you may have times where there's a full continuation to it, other times where it just stops for a month or two, and then um, I kind of take notice and I restart it, but I'm not going to redo the whole reading just because this bugger stopped. I just have to continuously look up and I'm like, I forget. Anyways, <clears throat> just thought I should um, put a little bit of that in there because I know some of you like to see the cards. Um, and it's a pretty expanded reading. So for, for this one, for this type... I'm going to be editing a little more. Um, there will be an extended to the readings, which I will be looking into the energy that's dealing with you. Um, and a lot of the times I know we may have the tendency to watch the, the main video and then focus on one energy in particular in there. And then when we watch the other energy that's at the other end of this, we have the tendency to think it's the same energy. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes you are dealing with a specific energy that I will be reading for you in the original. And then in the extended, it might be that it's somebody else altogether that's dealing with you. So um, let's say in the reading, it's going to show up as an energy that involves your work right? It's not even a person, it's the energies around your work. And then uh, in the extended, your mom or your dad or your pet might show up as the energy that ties them up to you and their perspective on things. Sometimes they match in the sense of, yes, it is the same energy in the extended, sometimes they don't. So keep that in mind. Don't get stuck with, wait a minute. In the reading, you said this and this and this, and then in the extended, they're behaving like this. That doesn't make sense. No, because it's a different energy. So keep that in mind. Um, also, try your best to not um, make this into a little bit of a soap opera kind of a situation. You know, from month to month, for the most part, the overall energy, the bigger energy at play is kind of going to be the same. But sometimes it's going to change in the sense of from January to February to March. You could be dealing with three very different energies that may look like it's the same one. It's not. So don't try to go from episode one, January, episode two, February, because sometimes they won't make sense in that way. They don't tie up together in that way. And again, in January, you might be dealing with an energy of work. In February, the energy I'm reading could be that of a spouse, a sister, uh, whatever the case, you know. And they may look very similar where you think it's a continuation, but it may not be. So try to keep it open as much as you can. Also keep in mind that energy is fluid. It can change. It can change from today to tomorrow, let alone from today to a year from now. So, just throwing that out there. Um, <clears throat> so keep 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 open <laughs> when you watch these. Uh, all right, so we covered pretty much everything. I feel like oh, roles can be reversed. That's a general rule for the readings. To close off the reading, um, you will get a oracle card from the mystical shaman oracle. Is it mystical shaman? Yes, it is mystical shaman. <laughs> Wait a minute, something about a shaman. And I know this is one of my favorite oracle decks. So yeah, it's that one. Um, mystical shaman oracle, one oracle card that is kind of like the energy for the whole year so it's not like oh i have to get to december to get into those energies no it's energies that maybe keep in mind for the whole year 
you know, try to remind yourself sometimes of the energies of this Oracle card. I believe that's about it. I think we're good to go. So let's go. And let's start with January. Um, you get the Ace of Swords for where you're at energetically. What you're dealing with, the Five of Cups in reverse, how you're dealing with it, the King of Swords. And for the advice, you get the Three of Wands. Um, basically, you're giving me a sense of you're ready to go, ready for action, ready to do something here. The problem is um, you're not taking something into consideration. What you're dealing with is some sort of an energy of the past that looks to be untouched, unhealed, and it's looking like you don't want to deal with it but that's the energy that's coming into play for you to deal with and you're like mm. you haven't been wanting to deal with it for a very long time and then giving me a sense of i'll deal with it all right so i'm not sure how that's playing out but we'll see in a minute when we clarify and for the advice of three of wands um it's something that you've been possibly wanting to do for a very long time and you keep on postponing it you know or you should have maybe done for a very long time and it keeps on being pushed so let's take a look let's clarify let me clarify the ace of swords you get the seven of cups the two of pentacles the temperance card for where you're at energetically Hmm. Yeah, it's it's been here for a while. And the sense of confusion has kept you in this place of, should I do it? Should I not? Should I do it? Should I not? Or meanwhile, I feel like not a lot happened, but it's it's almost like starting a business or something like that. And it's looking like you've been deba debating for quite a while. And it's it's definitely an energy that is for the future. Whatever you're doing is almost like planning for the future with it or something. But man, it's been... It's been quite delayed. Um, let me do the Five of Cups in reverse. For what you're dealing with. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, the Hierophant. Okay, so something happened here. You're showing me a connection between you and somebody else. Quite a good match. Quite an important connection here. Uh, but something happened. And something happened to such extent that nobody's looking at whatever happened. So whatever happened is kind of impacting this connection, not in the greatest way possible. And neither of you are choosing to, well, you're showing me that at least on your side, there's almost like zero recognition over the fact that hmm, something affected the situation. You know, I'll just choose to pretend that no, nothing did. So whatever this is that's going on, and it's kind of sustained in a way of kind of keeping an eye shut to it, is affecting whatever this is that's more at a personal personal stage, this, this action that's waiting to be taken. You know, it's, it's kind of like one is affecting the other and you're not seeing that necessarily. Huh. Let's do the King of Swords for how you're dealing with it all. The Nine of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Star. I mean, you're still pursuing what it is that you think is important. <clears throat> what it is that you think is important to you in both cases. Either it's personal and it's a situation you're dealing with at a personal level or through this connection here. Um, you're still pursuing that it's just that because you're refusing to kind of see what's holding both of these energies back you're being held back in your pursuit you know so it's almost like walking this path and it looks smooth until it doesn't look smooth anymore but you're going to pretend that it still looks smooth and knowing that you have the opportunity to smooth it out but you're like eh I'm not going because I'm just going to pretend that it's smooth anyway. Okay. Let me do the three of wands for the advice. The four of wands, the page of pentacles, the world card. 
There's like missed lessons, missed opportunities here for healing, for your own healing. And especially within this commitment that you have with someone. Yeah, and I feel like a lot of what's going on through this commitment is actually impacting in all sorts of other areas of your life. So there's a cycle that kept on wanting to close out here, which doesn't mean the connection needs to close out. It's a cycle that's part of the connection and it's being postponed. It's being, you know, as I said, something may have happened, something quite damaging to this connection. And yeah, it's been addressed, but not in the, in the sense of let's heal this crap because it's in the way of where we're planning to go with this, you know? So I feel like that's what's, kind of holding things back for now you know so the i mean with the three of wands it's kind of looking like on your part you're definitely holding things back so it's a matter of what do you choose to do entertain this energy and keep on holding things back or start addressing things you know so that's it let's do february Okay, let's see where you're at energetically, what you're dealing with, how you're dealing with it, and advice. Okay, you're doing good. Uh, for where you're at, it's the hangman. So you're trying to kind of stand still, kind of let things flow wherever they may want to go, you know, things like that. So there's definitely a sense of let's just chill uh, as much as we can, because what you're dealing with is a lot of stress. It's a lot of, it's, it's the eight of swords. It's kind of like a lot of stuff trying to build up in there and just kind of, bro, you know. Um, how you're dealing with it, the Four of Swords, again, a sense of, you know what? Okay, this can build up. This can do whatever the hell it wants. Or a lot of stuff can happen around me that could potentially create all of this nonsense in my head. But let's just let it. Let's see what happens. You know? So I like the attitude. I like how you're approaching this and for the advice to ace of pentacles yeah it's definitely opening up the door to a brand new energy you know for you like a smooth kind of stepping into something brand new here instead of just kind of falling prey for your own thoughts basically so let's clarify let me clarify the hangman for the energy that you're at the Two of Swords, the Two of Cups, the King of Cups. Okay. Yeah, there's still a little doubt, a little bit of insecurity, a little bit of I don't know around the question if there's love here in a particular situation. Because you're showing me I got love. I know I got plenty of love for this. But like, is it shared? Is it coming from the other side? Is it here? Is it not here? Is it like where? And again, the overall energy that you carry towards this, even though it's trying to get to you here, you're trying to settle it down. Like, okay, let's chill. Let's let this go nuts and let's just be chilled as much as we can with this and, you know, kind of fall into what we feel rather than what we think. You know, so you're giving more power to the heart rather than the mind, which is quite interesting, especially because you're being kind of ambushed by energies of the mind. But let me do the Eight of Swords <laughs> for um, what you're dealing with. You get the Hangman, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Cups. Yeah. Do you choose to kind of allow for these thoughts to take over and just kind of take control over all of your life or just choose to be in the moment and see what that brings in? Because I see it having the, the potential to bring in a lot of happiness for you, you know? <laughs> you are looking at this happiness with the sense of yeah i don't know yeah maybe like not really appreciating it and i do see the energy is that of happiness that's here but you're like whatever <laughs> okay um at least you're not going against it you know you're just kind of could be better <laughs> for sure it could be better but like Okay, let's do the Four of Swords 
for how you're dealing with it. The Hermit, the King of Swords, the Five of Wands. All right. Well, you are falling more into your heart, but man, your mind is not given up. Your mind is like, no, but I still want to be in control a little bit. You know, not, not completely. I'm laying off of that, but like a little bit. And whenever you charge into that place of logic, practicality, like things have to be like this, like that, like, you know, it's not control per se, but it's close to. It's very planned out kind of an energy. And it could create a little conflict here because the energy is that of the heart that's floating around for this month. So you coming in and arranging that, you know, according to some sort of plan, it's like, uh, that doesn't really work with how the heart flows. Um, okay. Let's do the Ace of Pentacles for the advice. Eight of Wands, the Hierophant, the Magician. Yeah, just falling more into the flow of things rather than trying to take charge, trying to allow for the mind to, to go crazy with all sorts of ideas and thoughts and stories. Um, and this is exactly what's coming through for you as an energy of communicating, just, just paying attention to what the universe has to say too, because you are kind of manifesting something quite beautiful here in regards to a particular connection, yeah. But it's really up to you how you show up for that too. You know, are you going to show up from, let's plan it out. Let's take control. Let's allow for what ifs to, to take over every minute of the way. Uh, or are you just going to be with the energies that are available for this connection? Which they're quite nice. I don't care that you're looking at them from the perspective of, eh. yeah, they're nice. They're nice. They're really nice. However, yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, um... Interesting, but that's it. All right, let's do March. Where you're at what you're dealing with, how you're dealing with the advice. All right, so where you're at is the temperance card. Uh, you could be falling into a place of a little more patience, a little more tolerance, a little more, okay, you know, because again, you're, you're, you're coming from trying at least to go with the flow of things. So it kind of feels like you're entering this space in a more patient manner. Um, what you're dealing with, the Nine of Pentacles, possibly gaining a sense of independence, a sense of, you know, doing something for yourself more at this time. How you're dealing with it, the King of Wands, possibly with a little help from somebody close to you here. And the advice, the Six of Cups. Yeah, there's a soul connection that's showing up here. So let's clarify. Let's do the Temperance card. The Six of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Five of Cups. Right. I feel like uh, you're looking at something here, something about yourself. This month has a, carries a lot of energy about self for you. Um, it's almost feeling like you overcame something, some sort of trauma from the past. Even if you have worked on it quite slow, you know, like, okay, let's look into it. Let's open it up, you know, 10 years ago. Who knows? Because uh, it's looking like it's slow progress for it, but you're starting to see the results of it by the looks of it. Because it's something that makes you feel good. And it's something that you're tackling still. You're definitely still looking into it, still working with it. Um, nice. So I'm not surprised of, of this sense of self-empowerment here with the nine of pentacles um for the nine of pentacles you get the sun the four of pentacles the four of wands yeah there's this kind of working a lot towards gaining more independence and then you're showing me this connection that you're attached to 
So it's almost like, but how do I do that? Because I'm, you know, connected to this one. So what does that mean? A sense of independence is if I'm still connected to this connection to this person. Because um, I kind of want to spend all of my time and all of my energy on them and with them. So what does that leave for me then? So it's it's an interesting kind of a passing from maybe codependency to a little bit more independence here for you. Because you are growing in this department of self. Um, interesting. Interesting transition here for you. It's a little bit of it. It's not like, okay, you've gained your independence completely. And now you have this connection that you're attached to also, which you're giving to because you want to, not because you have to, you know. So you're entering that space for sure. As to the King of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. Mm, but then it turns back towards them. You know, you're you're stepping a little bit into that sense of independence. And then for some reason, all of a sudden, you forget all about that. And it's like codependency 100% uh, where it becomes everything about them. You know, everything because of them or for them. Um, okay, it's okay. It's okay. Let's do the Six of Cups for the advice. The Nine of Swords, the Hangman, the Two of Pentacles. See, because at the end of the day, you don't know. You're still not 100% secure within this situation. You're still coming out as, I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't. And even for that purpose, for the fact that you don't know. You don't know where it's going. You don't know when it's going to end. If it's ever going to end. You don't know any of that. You know? So I kind of feel like this would be a good point for you to start this work of creating something for yourself there on the side of this okay you'll see where this goes doesn't matter what do you have if this ends right now in a split second what do you have for you i have nothing i gave everything to this connection well yeah this is the problem here you know codependency versus and it's a much healthier way to experience a connection from a sense of having your own shit together you know while this connection is still and you want to give to that because you want to it's your choice but having something of yours there still through this connection so it's a good kind of a introduction for you for this month for this even though you're slipping right back into old patterns of codependency you know which is normal you've probably done that all your life most of us have we don't even know what the hell that means for the most part you know, to have that something for us. Um, anyways, that's it for March. Let's do April. Where you're at energetically in April, what you're dealing with, how you're dealing with it, advice. Where you're at is the Seven of Pentacles. So you want to work on something here, by the looks of it. Your energy is very open to working on something here. Uh, what you're dealing with, the Knight of Cups. Interesting. Interesting energy of openness, especially from the heart. Um, I'm kind of getting this as a supportive energy for you in terms of whoever's next to you is supporting you uh possibly it could be your energy even in terms of not only opening up towards okay we gotta do things like this like that we gotta we gotta get to work here but just opening up your heart as well for something here how you're dealing with it the queen of swords quite the practical energy there and for the advice the eight of pentacles so you're starting with the seven of pentacles getting to the Eight of Pentacles. So definitely something is being built here um, on your part. It's not only the intention, it's the actual work being put into something. All right, let's see. Let's clarify. Let me do the Seven of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Nine of Cups. 
it's stressful too, but you are doing a great job at recharging. Like, okay, when it gets too much, I need a break. Sorry, I'm gonna take a break. So, okay, that's good. Let me do the Knight of Cups. You're able to recognize those times in which maybe you need a break. Yeah. For the Knight of Cups, you get the Three of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Hangman. Yeah, this is a support that's around you. And it could be the closest person to you, but I kind of see it more as a general, you know, friends, family, whoever's next to you. It's almost looking like they're on a pause. Like, okay, you know, I'll get back to you in a minute. I got to do something here. Uh, but it's not... I mean, the energy is still flowing towards them and back. Um, so it's not like a pause of... I have no idea what your name is anymore. I completely forgot because I'm so immersed into what the hell I'm doing. Um, it doesn't work like that. The energy still flows. You might not give them so much physical attention during this time, which seems like it's an okay kind of an energy on both sides, you know? Because um, again, it's coming through as support. You know, whatever you got to do, do it. We're here for that. Let's do the Queen of Swords. Seven of Wands, Four of Wands, Two of Wands. Okay, this is the pushy energy where the closest person to you here, you might actually push away completely and be like, I'll come back, I'll revisit this when I'm done here. Um, where this energy right here, energetically speaking of, you know, there's still love here, there's still everything is still open. This energy right here is kind of cutting it. It's a little, okay, you're taking it a little too extreme, a little too, like, I'm busy. I'm busy. Goodbye. We'll talk later. Not now. Goodbye. You know? So there's that edginess to it. And there's that little limit, if you want to look at it, in terms of how you proceed through this. Because there seems to be, you know, when everything is said and done, there seems to be a complete rejection towards quite the significant connection you have with someone here. You know, because you get so caught up in whatever it is that you're doing. So only if you open up your heart, you would see the energies flowing here. Uh, even if physically, maybe you're not there and you don't have the time. But if you stick with this energy strictly from your mind and doing things, da -da 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 -da, like military style, you might cross that line of, okay, take it easy here. Chill. You know, uh, you've crossed the line into, I don't give a shit about you because I'm doing my stuff leave me alone you know which is a very different energy than the flow the energetic flow of i'm still giving to you but right now i gotta focus on myself for a little bit let's do the eight of pentacles for for the advice the world card the two of cups the seven of swords it's just kind of pointing you back towards these two main situations in your life which basically is the same situation but it's how you approach it are you going to approach it from more of a softer side from more of a let me tune into the energies at play or are you going to be pretty strict about this situation which if you choose that pretty strict side of it all eh, eh, you might cut something of the heart off you know, something that belongs to the heart, which is love, which is, you know, try to find that balance between the two rather than um, cutting things off. I understand you're busy and I understand you're putting effort into something here that's really important to you, but there's different ways of going about it. And again, if you choose the more strict one, then you might be cutting off some energies that are showing up quite loving and quite supportive to you through this time, you know? So, let's go to May. Yay, we made it to spring. Let's see. When is spring? April? But I think for us it's more May. Anyways, let's see what's going on here. Where are you at? Energetically, what you're dealing with, how you're dealing with the advice. You're at the Page of Pentacles energy. Um, 
you seem to be in an energy of willing to learn from whatever experience is coming through willing to learn from pretty much anything that surrounds you at this point what you're dealing with the king of pentacles there's a sense of security here and that's kind of playing out for you how you're dealing with it the page of wands you're always pointing me out to you know you're giving me you and then what you're dealing with personally and then you point me out towards somebody it's like how you're dealing with it with them through them or you know kind of like always relying on whatever energy this is to you which is not necessarily a bad thing but going back to that month of codependency and independence eh, if we go through this reading till the end of the year and i see you not pointing me to another but to you then there's progress there anyways yeah page of wands here whoever this is to you it's pretty much an energy of pretty light energy too um possibly somebody else it could be you who knows we'll see when we clarify but for the advice the empress now that's definitely an energy outside of yourself that you're looking at um but yeah let's uh let's clarify let's see what's going on let me do the page of pentacles seven of pentacles the page of pentacles again the six of wands it's still bringing through energies from last month so whatever it is that you were learning not learning building or you know putting together there now there's an aspect of i'm learning from it as i go you know as i build as i and it feels good whatever this is it feels good it almost feels like you started a brand new business and it's starting to pick up it's starting to roll and it's starting to show results or something or even if it doesn't show results, like big-ass results, you still see some movement, something is being built and put together. So, I don't know. It feels good. Let's do the King of Pentacles. Queen of Wands, the Emperor, the Five of Cups. You've got an injured uh, masculine energy here within yourself in the sense of taking initiative, doing something, building something interestingly enough now you are by the looks of it or you're trying to but there's you're almost coming through with this injured part of yourself of when it came to put something together maybe you started sometimes maybe it didn't even start but you planned it out who knows but it feels like you never really truly brought it to a to a, a final point like to a completion almost because there is an injured part of that over that situation where you get in all confident you get in all okay i can do this i can uh but if you look back i'm not sure if you ever completed any of these big meaningful situations that you had going on um so it's interesting that now you're working on something that looks like you want to complete it you want to bring it to that completion but looking at that perspective of yourself that carries that injured part or let's call it distorted part where you're starting something but not really completing it and it's not because it's probably a limiting belief somewhere that doesn't allow you to complete things that are meaningful to you maybe it's telling you you know you can't do this no way you're gonna finish this or who knows what part of you tells you that but it does from where i'm sitting it looks like a an injured um an injury to your masculine side to the the initiator the let's go get shit done you know interesting but you're growing into that and you're looking into that injury which means healing which means great let's do maybe that's why you're always looking for help you know for assistance because you're not used to getting things through to the end it's like okay is there anybody next to me is there like can i grab on to somebody to kind of carry me through uh interesting there and again kind of pointing back to how codependency even is created um for the page of wands in how you're dealing with it the four of swords the page of wands the nine of cups yeah definitely a reliable kind of an energy someone you can rely on they're pretty and it's interesting that you can rely on them because you're coming in with forceful energies of let's do this let's get stuff done 
And whoever this is, they're coming from a more natural, in the moment, playful kind of energy, like, yay, let's have fun with it. Which is not a bad energy. But coming from massive monster energies of, yeah, we're getting stuff done, looking for help at, yay, we'll get shit done. You know, it's very interesting. Um, I don't know, feels very, very funny in a way, but at the same time it works, you know, so, okay. Uh, let's do the Empress. For the advice, the Hangman, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Cups. Uh, okay, so this, this is you, this is your energy with the Empress. There's a lot of, uh, almost to the side of all of this, there's a lot of self-care involved here. You know, um, this is great energy here. There's a lot of self-love, there's a lot of self-care. So as everything is going on, as everything is building up, and you're looking into all sorts of possibilities of even trauma when it comes to putting something together and finishing it, um, you're also giving yourself that time and space to... to to kind of be with yourself, you know, which which makes sense, because um, otherwise you wouldn't be able to heal a lot of what's going on here. So it's really nice. Okay, May is nice. All right, let's go to June. This month was spring. Now this is summer, so definitely not spring. When does spring start officially? I forgot. March? Nah, that's impossible. I've been in this state for so long that it's like nah. That's that's not spring. Late May, yeah, and then June summer, because <laughs> that makes sense. Um, yeah, I think it's March. But anyways, not for me, and not for a lot of people in the Midwest. Uh, anyways, let's go to June. Let's see what's going on here for you. Where are you at in June? What you're dealing with? How you're dealing with the advice Oy. rough beginning of the month here with where you're at you've got the death card so you could be dealing with some loss uh or energies of loss of some sort um how you're dealing with it you got the queen of cups so your heart is open it's not you that has to deal with these energies though but energies of loss are definitely in your field could it be somebody else that's dealing with these energies because you're showing up with your heart fully open towards whatever the hell is going on. It could be you, though, that's dealing with this. I don't know. How you're dealing with it, the king of wands. Again, somebody by your side here. And for the advice, the moon. Ooh. Unknown advice. <laughs> Secret advice. Check back later advice. <laughs> I don't know. Let's, uh, let's clarify. Let's see. For the death card for where you're at. Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Mm. But this is not a uh, This is not a well it is a loss in a way but it's not it's not the loss of somebody or something well it could be a little bit of a loss of you um some things are changing here drastically in a dynamic you have with someone some things are changing quite drastically uh i'm trying to figure out because hmm. i see an energy going from equal give and take into a more i don't see it as controlling that's the thing it's not like it almost feels like there's a shift in in power here or uh, almost like someone is taking charge over things but it doesn't feel controlling it feels like a more free energy actually huh something is shifting big time for you within you maybe because you're not necessarily holding on to things being certain ways like it needs to be like this otherwise this is not working out 
If it's not the equal give and take that I'm seeing that it should be, which that is controlling, then no. And it's 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 you're flowing into a more energy of flow. Like just looking at things for what they are and just kind of allowing them to flow. And if they are equal give and take, then you can recognize that. If not, you can recognize that as well, but not try to make them equal give and take, you know? Uh, so it is an energy of loss over you. Some part of you is definitely dying off. Uh, a little bit of a controlling part. Okay. Well, this is nice. Let's do the Queen of Wands. Not the Wands, the Cups. Why do I look at Cups and I say Wands? I see Wands everywhere. Anyways, Queen of Cups. The Ace of Swords, the Lovers, the High Priestess. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah, you're fully open to this connection that is very important, very close to you at this time. You're like, I'm all in. All in. I don't see... I, I, I'm not sure I've ever seen this energy attached to you, in all honesty. I might have, but this doesn't look like a, you know, because you always kind of have to think about it, too. You're like, I'm all in, but give me a minute to think about it, too. You know, I don't see any of that. I don't know what's going on here, but it's a good summer for Virgo by the looks of it. Let's see the King of Wands for how you're dealing with it. Why does there always... It's it's always I have to see this this Five of Wands here. Who is this to you? Um, For the King of Wands, you get the Five of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Moon. Yeah. I kind of get the sense that that Five of Wands is always here because your energy is coming through as being very different from theirs, which is not a bad thing. There's still quite a good match here. I mean, you're giving me the lovers, they're giving me the Ten of Cups. So, I mean, there is love here. There is quite nice energy over this connection. Uh, but I always see the Five of Wands and it could be because you are showing up as being very different as individuals you know they could be more feisty more uh, predictable more chop chop you could be more like yeah, okay chop chop slower please you know who knows like a little softer on your side rather than the energy that i'm seeing on their side and that in itself could create this five of wands uh energy which it's not necessarily a bad one it's just a contradiction between energies where they're not flowing at the same rate which okay it, it can happen but other than that um energetically speaking there's definitely quite the match here you know let's do the moon for the advice the two of wands the king of wands the world card yeah they're the ones that are carrying the moon i don't know what the moon is still i don't know what it is uh because it's shown up as a closing of a cycle but it's not showing up as of right now in june so it's almost like stay tuned coming up you don't need to know right now so i'm not sure but it's on their side it's on their side where there's a cycle coming to a close which could impact the situation with you but it's not showing up for june it's like nope i'm not telling you because I I feel like they don't even know that they're in this process of ending a cycle. Um, and I feel like it's too soon for us to know in terms of it's going to come. It'll come when it'll come. Okay. All right. Let's do July. the same but new all right let's see what's going on here where you're at the five of wands what you're dealing with the emperor how you're dealing with it the four of swords advice the world card all right so where you're at is the five of wands which is a pretty conflicting energy maybe there's a sense of inner conflict there where you're kind of 
added with yourself or with an energy outside of yourself. Uh, what you're dealing with, the emperor. Ah, interesting. We're back to that, are we? Because you're definitely stepping into your power more and more. Uh, especially the one that's taking charge, the one that's making things happen. Um, how you're dealing with it, the four of swords. Nice energies you got going on here. You know, pretty... Even if there is conflict, you're kind of not jumping into it right away. You're kind of... It, even if you're part of it, you're not, like, entertaining that necessarily. You're kind of letting it rest, you know? And dealing with it from there, or trying to at least. In the Advice the World card, um, I mean, you're closing off a cycle here. Which is very encouraging, especially because I see this Emperor showing up for you, so... It could be that uh, that wound that showed up for you uh, in the past months, it's kind of being worked on and healed. So really, really nice here. Let's, uh, let's clarify. Let me do the five of wands. Page of swords, the temperance card, the seven of pentacles. So again, this kind of belongs to that energy of you building on something, you creating something here. And um, yes, there is some sort of conflict, which again, could go both ways. Could be something uh, within yourself that's happening that's quite contradicting. And it's like, okay, how do we deal with this? And you're kind of showing me a sense of taking it one day at a time, not rushing into finding an explanation right away or just kind of cutting it off right away or rejecting it right away. Just kind of being with it and seeing what it brings for you. Um, that goes for both ways, if it's an inner conflict or an outer conflict with somebody. Uh, but it, it does have to do with whatever you're building on here. And again, the approach seems to be that of let's, let's deal with it one day at a time. Let's not rush into things here. Uh, for the Emperor, ooh, you get the Seven of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. Uh, interestingly enough, you're showing up as being more and more connected to whatever kind of commitment shows up here for you. Um, and at the same time, no. So you're stepping into your power more. You're gaining a sense of independence more. You're gaining a sense of look what I'm creating for myself here. You know, it's working, it's, it's building up, it's great. Uh, through that, you're detaching from belonging only to this connection and at the same time getting close to the connection in the sense of now I can give from my own power because I want to, not because I feel like, oh my god, without this connection I'm dead, you know? Um, very interesting kind of an energy you're showing me here. Uh, which kind of sets you closer and closer towards that independent, doing your own thing, you know, kind of energy, which is great. Um, let's do the Four of Swords for how you're dealing with it. The Ten of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Five of Cups. Yeah, but it, it, it almost feels like a loss over this connection too, because things are never going to be the same again. Even if this connection is still here, even if it looks even more beautiful than before, it's not going to be the same. It's not going to be what it used to be. Your perception over it is going to shift. Uh, the way you're participating in this connection is going to shift. So it's like, it's almost looking like the way you knew connections to be, marriage, whatever this is, it's going to look very different from here on out. And there's almost like a grieving process over it, like a... Mm, Okay, that's gone, you know. Um, hmm. Let's do the world card. The nine of swords, the devil card, the eight of cups. Yeah, no more unhealthy patterns. No more attaching yourself to unhealthy energies. Um that kind of even stress the hell out of you, you know, because that's the purpose of these unhealthy patterns. They keep you busy up here. They disconnect you from what's really important, you know, because you, you've been kept disconnected for quite a while. 
because of these thoughts, these over energies that were unhealthy to begin with, you know? So you're closing off a major cycle here. Now this could come through also as, if it comes through as things are coming to an end in a particular situation you're dealing with, you're also showing up quite strong and able to deal with the situation as it shows up in terms of you've built up that sense of independence that now you have some grounds to work with if this is splitting apart even though i don't get that necessarily there's a major energy of that though here so i'm not sure exactly if this is really coming apart or is just energetically splitting a little bit um because of your growth your individual growth so i guess we'll see all right let's move on to august <clears throat> Where you're at, the Eight of Wands, what you're dealing with, the Nine of Cups, how you're dealing with it, the Four of Swords, and Advice, the Six of Pentacles. So where you're at, pretty open, energetically speaking, in sharing your energy, whether that would be through communication or just kind of giving your energy to... I'm not sure if it's a particular direction or if it's just that you're open to your friends, family, whoever you come in contact with. Um, what you're dealing with, the Nine of Cups, that's a lot of emotional stability there. That's a lot of you falling into that place of, oh man, this feels so good, you know? Um, how you're dealing with it, the Four of Swords, which is not surprising, you know, by healing, by going a lot inward and just pausing and just kind of standing still through everything that's happening. And for the advice, the Six of Pentacles, I mean... And it's an equal give and take kind of an energy. This is this is a really cool uh, energy you got going on for this month. Let me clarify. Let's see what's up. Let's see the Eight of Wands. The Four of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Temperance card. Um, this looks a little bit... Yeah, it does look open the energy of energy the energy of energy the energy of openness that you have and i kind of get the sense that it's in one particular direction here especially tied up to this that shows up the five of swords here um oh man how do i put this so it looks like uh A little kind of a forest kind of an energy a little bit of let me give you an example so i learned that oh i learned how to manifest i found a secret now let me show you how to do that but let me teach you exactly word by word everything everything that i did you have to do so that you get to the results that i got but um it's a little bit of a force energy. First of all, manifestation is not going to work the same for everybody. It's just not. Uh, we all manifest from, you know, different tools we're using or different resources. Uh, second of all, it's one of those that's very nagging. Like, you have to do it this way. And God forbid you would do it a little bit different because I would get pissed off. And then I would come and kind of... Ugh, and say it to you a thousand times until you get it that it's not that way it's this way you know so it's a little bit of a forceful kind of an energy there in terms of i'm open and now i know and now i know what to do and i'll tell you but follow these exact steps because otherwise it's a, you suck you know um you definitely come into something here and i'm not sure if it's it's probably not manifestation it's something else but whatever it is, you, fi you find yourself in that place that because you got it, you feel the need to force it on other people to get it. And it's like, no, it's because <laughs> it's coming through as being deceptive. Like, no, it's probably not going to work because everybody's different. Everybody's functioning in different ways and everybody's 
healing in different ways and getting to that point where you got to in their own way. They're probably going to get there. They're probably going to get in other places that you've never gotten to before. You know, who knows? But you can't really, you know, hammer it in their head and be like, you get it right now because it feels so good for me. Yeah, okay. So it's a little forceful. So watch it with that kind of an energy there. Uh, especially in regards to one, because you want to make one energy understand all of this. I don't know who, but I'm guessing someone really close to you. Um, let me do the nine of cups. The five of wands, the judgment card, the nine of swords. I love that the judgment card shows up because most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the times, I don't see this card as being judgment, you know. Uh, I see it being as a little bit of something else, but now it falls into the situation as plain as judgment here. Um, your intentions are great here. It feels like you're spending a lot of your energy throughout this month, even though it's freaking amazing energy. And instead of just kind of sitting with it, it feels like you're trying to, trying to force it upon others. Um, and it comes through as ultimately being judgment because what why just because you got into this place of great energies that you did are you judging others for not being there because ultimately that's what's happening by forcing them to be there because you're there and it feels good and you should join and uh, da, 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 da. and it's creating a lot of conflict you know and it pulls you out of this energy that you've reached and ultimately it's just going to create stress and it's like okay so what's the point Instead of you just being in that energy and just, you know, others will do that or get to that in their own time, at their own pace, and probably by seeing what the hell you're doing, you know? Um, I don't know, man. Let's twist it. Let's turn. This took a very different direction than when it started. I still see that a great energy, but it's like, what are we doing with it, you know? For the Four of Swords, you get the Two of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're sitting with it for a little bit. When it gets confusing as hell, and when it gets... Because to you, it could be that you're starting from this great freaking intention that you have. To, to show others, you know, the way that got you to where you're at. And it's going to come back to you as being like, what the fuck is that? Why aren't they listening? Why aren't they... Like, what what's going on? You know, what why isn't this being taken serious or you know so it's ultimately getting to you as a very confusing situation um when all you're trying to do is you know your your intentions are the best here are great so you're not understanding why they keep on blowing up in your face there um because of the reasons that I just explained. Stay with this energy. Be in this energy. Just don't, don't try to force it upon others. You know, they'll get there when they need to get there. Um, the more you force it, which I don't see you seeing it in that way, but it's coming through in that way, um, the harder it's going to blow up in your face here. You know? Let's do the Six of Pentacles for the advice. The world card, the page of pentacles, the three of pentacles. Yeah, accepting things as they are, you know? And if something doesn't work with you, then out it goes. And if something works with you, then it stays. It's as simple as that. You know, allowing for things to be what they are so that you can determine if those things are good for you or not. Uh, instead of trying to make those things be something just because you saw it. You know, you saw the light at the end of the tunnel and you say, and you, you need for them to see it. Why? Why? Why do they have to see it? Or who says that maybe they, they've been there, they saw it already, or, you know, how? So yeah, this is a good lesson. This is a good month for a lesson here of allowing for things to be what they are. Uh, no matter what, is behind all of this, no matter how great the intention is. So, interesting. Let's go to September.
All right, so where you're at in September is the Judgment card, what you're dealing with, the Ace of Wands, how you're dealing with it, the Page of Swords, and for the advice, the Nine of Pentacles. Um, this seems to be like a month where not a lot is happening, on a physical level at least. Uh, it looks that way, but it could be that energetically a lot is happening, but it still seems like, you know, it's, it's almost like energies are kind of settling down, which doesn't give me room for okay the, the energies are moving like crazy they could at times but overall it's a pretty steady month by the looks of it um so where you're at with the judgment card there seems to be a lot of um maybe decision making situations or feeling that you need to make some sort of decisions some sort of choices here um what you're dealing with the ace of wands having to do something there's definitely that need almost that you're gonna feel possibly to i need to do this or i need to do that or i need to you know um possibly based off of decisions um how you're dealing with it, the page of swords this is th that's why i'm kind of getting that this month is a it's a month where it might feel like not much is happening, but then when you reach the end of the month, you look back and it's like, actually, you know, things move, something happened here. Um, I don't know. There is movement here, but it's not giving me a lot yet. Uh, for the advice, the Nine of Pentacles. You're looking like, you know, you're, you're staying strong into your power, independent there, pretty good where you're at in your energy there, like, in a in a pretty clear assertive kind of an energy through it all so okay let's clarify let me clarify the judgment card the four of cups the queen of wands the eight of swords mm, you're giving me someone here and you're looking at them from a place of being a little upset a little like mm, yeah whatever you know um, um but but you're in a place of not knowing exactly what to do about a situation that involves them you're not sure you're coming through as i kind of need to make my decisions here but i'm not sure yet all right let's see the ace of wands <laughs> you are doing something though the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Strength card. Yeah, you're coming through with some sort of action here. You're doing something. Uh, which this something seems to come from a pretty clear mind space. Almost like, okay, I made my decision. The The interesting part is that I don't see it here, your decision. But I don't need to know. I just need to know that uh, you made your decision and you're approaching whatever situation you've got going on with this Queen of Wands from that perspective of i know what i want i know what i'm doing here it is not an easy task here but you're doing it let's do the page of swords for how you're dealing with the, the six of wands the high priestess the moon you're just kind of going with the flow which feels really really nice um yeah just kind of allowing for your intuition to kind of guide you through this and it feels good. It feels like, okay, I don't have to think about it much. I don't have to do much then. I'll just kind of go with what I feel. Okay, that feels easy breezy. I don't know, it feels good. Okay. Let's do the Nine of Pentacles for the advice. Page of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, overall, again, I see you standing in your power. I see you knowing what you're doing for the most part. Um, you have times where you kind of stand in the way of the flow of the, the, the energies at play. You have times where you're kind of like, yeah, no, I'll do it my way. Uh, cause you feel that's the best way you have those times. It's, it's more like tendencies. So I'm not sure if you're actually kind of staying in the like in the way of the flow or if you just kind of want to play with it be like okay i'll fuck this up in a minute i'm not sure the tendency is there 
overall, the energy that I'm getting is that of you're allowing for the flow to happen. You're allowing for your own flow to take over, which is a great energy. But you do have the tendency at times to almost kind of stand in the way of the universe here and how it wants to play things off, you know. But with the Page of Pentacles there, that tells me that you're recognizing those times. So you could actually be stopping yourself from being in the way of whatever flow this needs to have. So that's good. All right, well, let's go to October. Let's see. What is happening in October? For you? Oh, come on. All right, let's do October. Okay. I think we got it here. Yeah. All right, where you're at energetically, what you're dealing with, how you're dealing with the advice well where you're at is the knight of wands um energy which seems to be quite a good energy there quite fiery passionate playful even you know it's it's a good energy to begin the month with there um what you're dealing with the four of cups something is upsetting you though so you're you look like you're in a good mood and all of that but something there's something there in the back of your mind bugging you how you're dealing with it, the Five of Cups. It could be something that happened in the past. I don't know, maybe there was a fight, maybe there was a misunderstanding, and it's still kind of bugging you. It's stuck with you there. Um, for the advice, you got the High Priestess. So that's definitely basically using your intuition as much as you can on this one. Um, let's clarify. Let me do the Knight of Wands. Page of Wands, the Death card, the Fool. Interesting. Because you're showing up quite okay, quite open, quite, you know, jumping into things that make you feel good and things like that. But that's coming to an end and is being replaced by an even more open kind of an energy. Um, why would that... Huh. It feels like it's growing. This energy feels like it's growing, but there's something odd about it. There's something a little odd about it. In terms of the growth of the energy, it doesn't feel quite natural. So something may happen out of nowhere that just kind of gives you that boost, uh, which is good. It's a good boost, but it's like, okay, it feels, it doesn't feel natural. The, the going from here to here doesn't feel like, it feels like, you're here and all of a sudden you're here. And that usually happens only when there's an event that makes you super duper scappy, out, scappy. happy out of your skin. There it is, scappy. Out of your skin, happy. So scappy, you're scappy for uh, October. Out of your skin, happy. There it is. Yeah, something, something is going on here. Good going on, but like odd in the way it's coming through, okay. Uh, for the Four of Cups, you get the King of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. Ooh, the lack of participation over on the other side of the fence. So you're looking at whoever you're dealing with here for whatever you're dealing with. And you're seeing them being there, but it's like, eh, barely, you know, you kind of interpret their participation and whatever you got going on together as, eh. Yeah, they're here, but like, they, you know, they could step it up a notch. Uh, okay, let's do the Five of Cups. I kind of feel that this has to do with the past more than anything, like how they didn't show up sometimes in the past more than now. Um, for the Five of Cups, you get the Ace of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Emperor.
Well, somebody did show up here. You see, because there's a contradiction here. And hmm. Interesting. Because you're looking at two sides of the coin here. One where mm, they didn't show up much. And then looking at the times when they did show up and it was good. So it's like, what's going on here? Where are you at with this one? Ah, it could be a nostalgic kind of a feeling, kind of like, eh, I'm bummed out. Hmm. Yeah, it feels it feels like it's coming through as you're looking at the past, uh, both positive and negative, you know, of someone here and the way they showed up for the situation you got going on with them. Let me do the High Priestess for the advice. The Strength card, the Six of Pentacles, the Hermit. I mean, you're doing good. As long as you stay tuned to your intuition and as long as you stay connected to yourself, you should be doing good through this one. Yeah, there's a nostalgic moment here. I don't know how long it lasts. I don't see it lasting throughout the month. But it is coming through as almost hitting you out of nowhere and just kind of looking back at mm, where they were, what they were doing, and things like that, you know, in regards to this connection with you. I don't even know if they're around here, in all honesty. Um around you at this time you're just kind of showing me you or your thoughts on them in the past so i don't know but overall you got a good energy as long as you keep tuned into yourself and into your intuition you should be fine here so let's go to november Right, where you're at energetically the king of pentacles what you're dealing with the queen of pentacles how you're dealing with it, the page of cups and for the advice you got the devil uh this is a a really self kind of month self-focused kind of month so there's a there's a whole lot of energy of you focusing on yourself on your own growth on your own stability just because just kind of doing you here uh and it feels like it's working out what you're dealing with the queen of pentacles this kind of comes through as an energy of self-love or nurture towards yourself and especially towards other too. Um, how you're dealing with it, the Page of Cups, your heart is open for this process and through this process. And for the advice here, we got the devil. So I'm curious as to what this is because I can't figure it out yet, but there's something quite unhealthy coming to the surface through this one. So let's clarify. Let's do the King of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. You're dealing with something too. There could be an energy of a loss that's kind of mixed up in all of this, but overall trying to keep your focus as much as you can uh, towards yourself, towards, again, a, a sense of self-improvement and growth here, um, which feels like whatever you're dealing with to the side of this kind of brings your energy down a little. You know, at times you may feel like... Uh, kind of tired here or you know like i'm probably i probably don't have it all together with me um let's do the queen of pentacles for what you're dealing with the three of wands the three of cups the page of swords it's been a long time coming here this energy of self-love like giving to yourself for once because i feel like you you kept on giving outside of yourself to all sorts of other directions other people possibly one in particular even though it wasn't a lot of giving especially over the last few days or months here you still gave out there you know instead of in here so it looks like this energy was kind of waiting around the corner of okay when is the time to do you you know and the time is definitely here been a long time coming here let's do the page of cups the two of wands the four of pentacles the eight of swords yeah. 
it feels like through this process of you doing you because this is what the energy is for this month and you're feeling it and you're 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 feeling like you're being pulled inward there and it kind of feels like at times you don't even know how to do that like how do i do that how do i give to me how do i give this energy that i've been putting outside of myself for so long how do i give it to me only you know there seems to be a little bit of confusion. There seems to be a lot of stubbornness to do so, to turn all of that energy and all of that love you put outside to bring it in. Um, but there seems to be also a little bit of confusion on how to do it. Uh, let's do the devil. For the advice. Queen of Swords, Knight of Wands, the Chariot. There seems to be energy coming your way as well. But as you kind of struggle at times through this process of I got to do me, it feels like you're kind of cutting off that energy uh, that's coming towards you. And it's a good energy. I don't know what kind of an energy it is. It could be friends, family, whatever the case. So it almost feels like because you're struggling with something here for you uh, that's only yours, when something does approach you that feels good, even if it's for two minutes, it's like, no, get out of here. Almost like projecting that anger, that frustration over whatever's coming your way. Which, of course, it's going to show up as being unhealthy, because why would you? It's almost feeling like whatever energy is coming your way that's good throughout this month is almost like a sign or scent from the universe here. You know? And you're like, no. Go away. You know? So... Watch out for this energy right here. There's no need to, to cut away energy that's that's approaching you. It's not you giving towards someone. It's energy that comes towards you, that wants to give to you. And it's Again, it's a good one. So no need to, to cut it off just because you're frustrated because you're going through your own little thing here. Uh, but that's it. Let's do December. Let's wrap it up with December. All right, let's see where you're at in December, what you're dealing with, how you're dealing with it, and advice. <sighs> what? Um, where you're at is the lovers, pretty strong connection here showing up. What you're dealing with at the Nine of Cups, a sense of emotional stability, happiness, how you're dealing with it with an open heart, with the King of Cups here. And the advice, the Five of Pentacles, that's... What? That's either a breakup, separation, or even the fear of losing this. Okay, uh, let's clarify. Let's see what the hell is going on. Let me do the Lovers. Or where you're at. The Judgment card, the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. You're showing up quite determined. You want stability. You want a very important, deep connection to someone. I'm not sure if this, whoever this is at the other end of this, is there. Or you're just showing me kind of the energetic stance of it. Like, okay, this is what I want. This is what would be good for me. Because at the end of it all, you're showing, quite, you're showing up quite confused. You're like, this is what I want. And you're very clear. Deep connection, stability. Love made up my mind. I'm clear. How the fuck do I get that? You know, so there's definitely a sense of confusion. Um, and this confusion would be here if there were someone around that you probably are um, attaching these energies to. But let's see. Let me do the nine of cups for what you're dealing with. The king of cups, the two of pentacles, the seven of swords. Yeah, you have your heart open here. Hard, fully open for what it is that you want. <sighs> something's making you run, though. Something's making you turn your back. It's like, it almost feels like you're... You've gained clarity over the energy that's meaningful to you and that you want for you. And then if there's someone around, if you attach those energies to that someone, that's when it becomes all like, no. Like, no. Mm -mm. or maybe not there could be a possibility but who the hell knows like i'm not convinced that this would be the person that fits that you know so okay let's do the king of cups for 
how you're dealing with it. The Page of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Death card. No, you're not giving in one particular direction that you thought these energies belong to. You might be closing the cycle. You might be like, you know, there's still something there in terms of maybe there's still some sort of participation in, in a connection here. But at the end of the day, it's shown up as it's gone. It's, it's a done deal. And then the advice for the Five of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's it's almost looking like a situation is kind of going south here. Uh, as you go north with your intention and clarity over what it is that you want, it looks like this situation that is around you it's going south. The more clarity you gain, the more this kind of walks out a door here that you're willingly opening up for the soul connection. It's hard. It's not easy. It's not. It's not showing up as you know because you you still you're still drawn to whatever this connection is. But overall, there seems to be an energy of an ending here that's that's kind of making its way more and more into the reading so i don't see this complete as the year completes but it's definitely the beginning of the completion process here over something um but that's it all right let's close this baby up with the mystical shaman oracle let's see what you're getting for 2024 okay ooh, ooh, ooh. The lower world. Don't panic. That's not a bad thing. I know it sounds a little lower. No, it's not a bad thing. Not in shamanism. 31. <clears throat> there you go. All right, the essence, the lower world holds the hidden treasures of humanity. It is a place of rich and fruitful darkness where we can find the disowned parts of ourselves and the abandoned aspects of our psyches. The lower world is the place of our ancestors where we discover the gifts and lessons from the past. It is the realm of the collective unconsciousness. Here we can meet our demons and transform them into pure energy, our source of personal power you the invitation it is time to unearth your hidden treasures do not make yourself small in order for others to like or accept you bring out the gems and precious stones that you have kept inside your heart hidden even from yourself it's time to honor your past and recast your life as a heroic quest as your journey as you journey into the lower world you will be offered all the gifts of your ancestors their struggle the way they heard, the way they lived, and the way they died will become blessings. The medicine. Are you one of those people who do not like to face the past? Now your past is calling to be acknowledged, to be heard, and to be embraced. The only way to become unstuck is to honor everything that has transpired in your life. Reflect on the lessons learned and move on. If you bear witness to your past and learn its lessons, it will stop haunting you. As you embrace its gifts, uh, you will recover a missing part of your soul. Pretty intense, pretty nice. Keep that in mind for 2024. Don't run from your past because I'm, I'm coming after you. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.